Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sun Devils offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And now the ball is free. Scoops up the loose ball. To the 10. He scores. What a play. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Arizona kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it out to maybe the same. It was a rough road on their last time as the touchdown. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember, they still have to lead here. Even though the momentum right now might be facing against them, they've got to be able to just settle down and find some confidence in being able to reestablish who they are. That brings in second and one. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. They're about four yards away here on third down. this one away. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now they're with a chance to make something happen. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. And it goes in the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Arizona is up a score. And he hits him hard at the 21. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 30. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Fires complete over the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. I'm 
not even sure if this young quarterback even noticed that both middle linebackers were rushing towards him. He is so poised, and he knows he's got receivers who can make plays. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. He lost the ball. The defense falls on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Check mark 33. Check mark 33. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gets out to around the 25. Man left, man left. That makes it first and 10. Mark check 33. 33. Easy, easy. Black five, black five. Blue 20. Go. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Yellow, 20. Switch, switch. Yellow, 20. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. away and it's a booming punt this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. let's get some points going right now not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter i'm with you i'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point give credit to the defenses but i think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call the offense comes out of the field and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Arizona is up seven. Makes it to the 37. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team second. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Choose the mic. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Defense coming and the ball comes out. It's recovered, and they get him in the backfield for a loss.
Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Arizona. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Watch two. Watch two. You're going to see me in your nightmare, yeah. son. You're going to see me in your nightmare. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Arizona up seven points. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down at the 23. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he is drilled. It's the 31 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. All right. Let's go, D. Let's go. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Five, five, flare. Caught. And that's a first down. First down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Tackle after a decent pickup. Looking right, intercepted. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10, and he's level at the 8. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Arizona is up by a touchdown. He's tackling at the one-yard line. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, seven-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 14-0. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Rolled, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. And here's a quick throw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Kill, kill, kill! Black, 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 green, nine. Switch, switch. Green, nine. With a quick throw. 
The defender had it and then dropped it. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 48. one to the sideline, trying to kick it out of bounds. Here's the... Nope, they snap it to the up-back. They'll bring him down at the 45. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. That's a great tackle at the 47. He's going to air it long. It's complete. And they make the stop around the eight yard line. And down he goes at the 13. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. Watch two. Get up. Down. And they push him out around the 11 yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4 2 speed. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Number three. Second and ten. Ball in the 25. He gets sacked on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Arizona's going to have to use their second time out of the half. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 50. The Wildcats are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Tackle made at the 19. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way out to about the nine. He's on the run. Brought down at about the seven yard line. And he's tackled at 
the two. That brings him second and goal. Road to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. converts the extra point. A five-play, 52-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Three down, three down. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Third down. Three down, three down. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Big kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. He's taken down at the 31. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 24 to nothing, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams though continued to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio for the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he hits him hard at the 25. That makes it second and 10. Mike two, Mike two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the strike complete. Tackle around the 34 yard line. That's good for the He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Good call to go with the option here on third down. It confused the defense just enough to allow him to pick up the first. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line.
Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The pass is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. That makes it 37. And this play is number eight on the drive. Come on. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Get up. Down. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It's knocked away, incomplete. Number 99 breaks up the pass. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 24. Mike Schick, 33. 33. 39. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 33. Check Mike 33. Ready, go. Gets out to around the 45. That makes it second and two. Kill, kill, kill. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. And now the ball is loose. Scooped up by the defense. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. He tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Mike 40, Mike 40. I'm Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds around the 18-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Fourth down. And 
and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looks left, picked off. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbound when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. sack on the play. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Inside handoff. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 32. And he's hit immediately. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. One more quarter to play. Wildcats with a 24-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike check, 33, 33. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's into the open field. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop around the 40-yard line. That makes it second and eight. receiver it really wasn't badly played by the defense but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you third down and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down Gets out to around the 38, and a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. He fights forward to about the 36. Second down and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets out to around the 28. Maybe three yards on that run. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 13 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the eight. Coming to you. Coming to you. Yeah, hey, Mike. I don't know. And he's tackled at the seven. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24 to nothing. Arizona. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.